Okay, off you go. Okay. Hi, my name is Alistair Hampton, General Manager of Engineering and Innovation for Ryko Filters. I'm standing here with a 79 Series Land Cruiser, one of our many Ryko customers, someone who's using our cash can. And I thought we would make this quick video just to give people some pointers on how to fit our patch cam um, until we come out with some vehicle specific kits. So in this particular vehicle, in the 79 series Land Cruiser, there's a nice spot over here on the driver's side, just behind the airbox. You might like to fabricate your own bracket uh, using our bracket we've supplied in the kit. Here we've created a bracket um, using some sheet steel. Uh, we've bolted the bracket that we include in our kit um, onto this with a, another stay, and we've put this in uh, just behind the power steering fluid reservoir. Uh, and this, this gives a nice easy mount for our catch can, like so. Now, I guess the other important consideration when installing a catch can uh, is is the hose direction. So on our catch can design, it's, and this is really important, we've designed the input, so the inlet port is the lower port. That's, that's this one here. This is from the PCB. So the PCB valve on your rocker cover of your engine, you need to connect that hose to this port here. This port up here is the outlet port. This is the port that needs to go to either your airbox um, or wherever your PCB currently connects back into the engine's air inlet system that may be also the turbocharger. But this, this, is, this is very important, inlet and outlet. There's actually some arrows molded in to these ports. So you'll see an arrow going in on this port and an arrow pointing out on this port. Some competitor catch cans flow the opposite way. So it's really important that you connect our catch can up the right way. If you connect it up the wrong way, it may actually block the PCB and cause engine problems. Some other design considerations um, on this particular customer vehicle, we've connected up some automotive fuel hose. Um, we've used some size reducers, which are also included in, in our kit. Um, we've connected them to some straight hose using a standard straight hose joiner. Uh, this one's in brass, you can also get them in nylon. And that allows us to connect our, our size reducer, which takes this from a, a one inch, um, which is our catch can port, one inch 25 mil, and is able to reduce it down to a 19 mil, three quarter inch for the standard Toyota PCB line. So on this particular vehicle, PCB valves at the front of the, front of the engine here, and we've actually connected some straight hose routed across the front of the engine over to the catch can and then another section of straight hose which we've actually connected up to the standard Toyota hose which takes us back into the, the air intake snorkel here. If you, uh, if you like what you've seen here, um, please make some comments. Uh, like I said, we're actually working on some vehicle specific kits right now, uh, which should be released in the coming months.